but for the proportion of equities which is still parked into equities where is it that you are the most constructive i think commodities remain the highest number both locally and globally it mm -hmm. still remain the highest number every correction we are adding up we haven't reduced commodity exposure in the last two years maybe three years perhaps and we continue to build on it as the time goes by and that's one large component exposure. the second indian exposure is of course industrial companies uh, that is uh, you know industrial core infrastructure companies i would put it in that bracket because they are kind of now no new company comes up it's not easy to compete in the space etc so that's the second thing the third is tele telecom space i think there's only one you know really speaking one or two players in the market so there's nothing much to choose from so telecom space the third of course is uh, the uh, you know the re consumers play out in terms of the consumer sentiment which is whether it is the qsr restaurants whether it is you know consumer facing some of the stuff that we're seeing that is where we are positioned at this point of time i think and restructuring story every day you get one or two coming up in the market just now big agritech company announced a big restructuring so we moved into that position and uh, surprisingly we have a very large exposure to online travel company at this point of time and it continues to be continued exposure so i think commodities industrial infrastructure would perhaps account for almost 60 percent of our portfolio choice at this point of time it's interesting a mix because <clears throat> if anything commodities probably currently offer value or are in the value zone so to say valuation perspective the others be the high quality industrials be it an online travel company uh, be it the qsrs all of them are actually not value but expensive so um, there is no particular style you are doing it very bottom up i i reckon no the style is very simple we want to be in, in companies and industries where it's difficult for the competition to come in you've seen the what's happening in the two wheeler industry the new players came in and have completely taken over the EV market and old guys are going to compete very hard and therefore returns will be mediocre. You've seen the FMCG space. Now you've seen what happened to Dabur. The reason it's happening is it's competition. There's Adani there, there's ITC there, there's Dabur there, there's now Reliance jumping in there. You know, and so look at the number of players. If the economy is growing at 6% or thereabouts and 4.5% this half year, uh, market is not that large. You know, if 80 crore Indians need food grains to survive, they're certainly not buying milk or derivative products, right? Certainly not buying. Out of the rest, 40, 50 crore people left, more than half can't afford to have discretionary. So we talk about a base of 10, 12, 20 crore consumers, six consumer companies. You, know, you can imagine what's going to happen there. So our choice has been companies where they have a literally quasi-monopoly. Competition is very difficult to come in. And they have global pricing power at the end of the day. Commodities are global pricing power. You can't help it, but if copper prices X or aluminum X in the world, it will not be X minus 40% in India. But a consumer product can be a lower pricing because of competition. So I think our model is very high moat, monopolistic companies, strong cash flows. That's when they don't need to consume cash, they need to generate cash, except the QSR. I'll come to that. That's the more important thing. And by and large, this segment is now deleveraged. So it's not that they're leveraging very much. And the best part, no new company can come into this market that's our guiding mantra if there is competition we don't like the sector in a shrinking gdp or a six percent gdp more competition doesn't give you high returns so competition is the first mantra that go for companies where there is no competition so that's the running theme if you were to say that you know why we picked up these diverse segments mm -hmm.